In today's video, I'm going to show you how to draw a blind corner cabinet. Um, similar to this upper here, you can see that it's a cabinet that tucks in behind its, its um, adjacent neighbor here. So we're going to start by uh, showing you how to draw one as a base cabinet. And I've already drawn the cabinet that it intersects with here. And when I did that, this style here, what I chose was a a butt style. And that tells cab writer that this cabinet is going to be butting into another one. And so that allows um, us to properly draw the toe kick base here so it extends a little further to meet the one coming the other direction. And you'll see how that works once we get it drawn. So we start by uh, grabbing our story stick tool as usual. And I'm going to start right here in the corner. This is the intersection of our 24-inch line coming this direction and our 24-inch line coming this direction. So we grab the point here in the corner. And the style that I'm going to choose here is a right-end blind. So what that tells us, or what that tells Cab Rider, is that this is going to be a blind corner style. So that's going to uh, create a style that tucks back behind this one here. You'll see once we get it drawn. So then I'm going to go to the other end and choose a uh, left end opening style because there's going to be a stove there. And we're going to put a connector style here. And that's it. So we're going to draw the cabinet and I'm going to select the box type. Um, so we we selected a blind corner style over here, but we got to remember when we choose our box style to select a blind corner base. If we did a standard base or standard base with drawers, we would end up with a uh, standard cabinet with a blind corner style that tucked behind there, but the cabinet itself wouldn't tuck behind. So we have to remember to do a blind corner base. Um, we're going to do um, just a single door and we'll put a drawer in there as well and then this one's just going to be a standard uh, drawer bank base All right. so let's draw that and as you can see now we have a style that's a little bit uh, we have um, a reveal here of an inch and three quarters and then the style tucks back behind this other one a bit so by choosing the blind corner style it drew that by choosing the blind corner base cabinet, we got the cabinet that, that tucks behind here. And we can see, if we go to our tape measure tool, the distance from here, from here to here, is what we call the displacement of the cabinet. So it's a 12 and 3 quarter inch displacement behind. And if we go to our uh, parameters and base cabinets, we see that indeed we have a 12 and 3 quarter blind corner displacement set. If we want to make that bigger now, let's say we want to make it uh, 16 and 3 quarters, we can make that change and now we can redraw this cabinet. So we say redraw selected cabinet. And it's going to ask us, do you want to use the cabinet stored defaults? If you watch the, um, the new Retrieve Cabinet Defaults video, you'll learn about how the ca um, all the defaults are stored with the cabinet now. So if we redrew it with its stored defaults, it would still have 12 and 3 quarters associated with the cabinet and would redraw it the same way it is now. But we just changed the parameters to 16 and 3 quarters, so we don't want to use the stored defaults. We want to use what's currently in the parameters. So I'm going to say no. And we can see now, if I go to the tape measure tool, that our displacement is now 16 and 3 quarters. Um, this displacement here, um, or the reveal, is currently set to inch and 3 quarters, and that is set in the parameters on the face frame by the uh, blind corner style width. 
is an inch and three quarters is the displacement and then uh, the blind corner style extension is another inch and a half. So that is the total width. We've got an inch and three quarters to here and then an inch and a half from here to here. And we can do that for both um, an upper cabinet and uh, lower cabinets. So we would do the exact same thing um, for an upper cabinet. Uh, we can go ahead and delete this cabinet and redraw it. So if I uh, say cab writer, uh, select subassembly. Oh, sorry, I'm going to just select the cabinet. Notice when cab uh, writer draws anything, everything is locked. So I need to right click and unlock the cabinet, and then I can delete it. So to redraw this, I'm going to start with my guide point here, and again, we need to do a right end blind style. This one would have been drawn as a butt style. And then I go over here, and this is going to be a left end panel. A panel showing there. And then, of course, we've got our connector style here in the middle. And that does it for this cabinet. So I'm going to show you what happens if I just select a standard upper for the corner here with two doors, and a standard upper here with two doors as well. Notice I still have the blind corner style that I chose, but my cabinet does not extend into the corner. So what I can do is go in and edit this cabinet. So if I click on anything and then right click, say Cab Writer Edit Cabinet, uh, do I want to use the stored defaults? In this case, I do, because I'm, gonna, I'm not changing any of the parameters in the parameter box. I'm just going to change the type of the cabinet box in the corner. So I can just use the cabinet defaults here. And um, so I'm going to change this from a standard upper to a blind corner upper. And notice always the blue indicates which box we're talking about at this point. And I'm going to keep the number of doors at two. This cabinet I don't have to do anything to. I can just say OK because it is a standard upper and I want it to stay as a standard upper. And there we go. We got our displacement and we happen to have it set such that it gets us about an inch or so away from the wall back there. So that's all there is to drawing blind corner cabinets. Just remember, again, when you draw the cabinet that bumps into it, that you will want to use a butt style. And when you draw the corner, um, uh, the style that's in the corner for the uh, blind cabinet, you'll want to use a blind corner style. And then just remember to choose the blind corner uh, base or upper cabinet uh, to correspond with that. And then you can change your settings for the displacement to anything that you uh, need. Thank you, and I hope you enjoyed it.